First, check the current firmware version by powering up the recorder, selecting Menu, then Info. Check the Atmos website for the latest firmware. If it is more recent, download the newer file. PC users will need to unzip this file, but for Mac users the file is expanded automatically. You should now have a file called atomnja2.fw. Mac users should ensure that you delete older downloads first, or you will get a file called atomnja2-1.fw, and the update process will not work correctly. We now need to format a drive in the recorder. Insert a drive and select the storage capacity indicator on the bottom right of the screen. Select format hard disk drive or solid state drive. And when asked, are you sure? Select format. Eject the hard disk drive or solid state drive and insert it in your docking station, which can be connected to your PC or Mac via USB or Firewire. Now copy the firmware file to the root of the formatted drive, either by drag and drop or by copy and paste. Once the file is transferred, eject the disk from the PC or Mac. Please note that if you do not eject according to operating system guidelines, you can corrupt the file. Put a fully charged battery on slot 1 and preferably a fully charged battery on slot 2 also. The firmware upgrade will not be performed unless the battery is more than three quarters full. Power down the recorder by holding the power button on the side or on the menu screen for four seconds. Now we are ready to begin the update. Insert the drive into the recorder. Power up the recorder by briefly pressing the power button on the side of the unit. You will now see many colours appear on the screen. This is normal, do not worry. This will be changed in future firmware updates to show a message instead. You will either see Please Wait or the Atomos logo in the middle of the screen while the firmware update is being done. Do not attempt to operate the recorder whilst the firmware is updating. It will power itself off once the update is complete. Power up the recorder and check the current firmware by selecting Menu, Info. The firmware has been updated. Now you should check your settings for codec, start-stop triggers and other settings before you begin your shoot.